Hey y'all, Fat Man Outdoors. Uh, I had a few viewers that was talking to me about tactical stuff that, and what I thought about some of the things that were on the market now as far as add-on web gear, stuff like that, that you could get to what things that may or may not be useful. Um, in my personal opinion, I think a tactical vest is very useful if you pack it out right. Uh, it's going to add some weight to yourself, so think about that if it's not something you can pack and and at least at a brisk walk, leave an area. Uh, uh, you know, if you're like me and you're a bigger guy and you got some health issues, running most of the time is not something you're going to be able to do much of. At this point, anyway, I'm trying to get there, but you know, it's going to take a while. But um, but if you can wear it and walk and get away, then, then that's good. Uh, but if you can't, if you're not able to to carry as much as a full loadout would be. Uh, with something that would be with a tactical vest or with a, a, a bug out bag, maybe somebody else in your family can be assigned that. You know, let them carry the tactical vest, let another person carry the bug out bag. But for you to be able to help out as well, there's also lighter weight versions that carry a lot less stuff, but will still keep you in the situation to be a help instead of someone that just needs to be protected. So let's take a look at that. What I'm talking about is shoulder holsters. Now the, these were real popular I guess back in the late 80s early 90s with a lot of the, the cop TV shows you saw a lot of guys carrying them and, uh, and, and a lot of people wanted them back then and they kind of just faded away uh, uh, you know because they, they're they're quite cumbersome they're not concealable real easily unless it's winter time when you're wearing a heavy coat uh, which they are my go-to uh, conceal carry in the winter time if I'm going to be just out and about and I'm not going to be taking my jacket off because to me it's a lot easier to get to the weapon if it's hanging right there you know but uh, now they've got a lot of them out that are more tactically built that, that are made out of Cordoba instead of uh, instead of uh, leather they're not as heavy they're not as stiff okay and this one is made by a company called UTC I ordered it from Amazon it wasn't very much it was like I think a twenty-one dollars, uh, and it's built pretty well. Uh, got a, a, my CZPT here. Show you that it's open and clear, um, and that little pistol fits right down in there really good. Uh, they they do have a um, a couple of different versions of these on how you can get them to to strap the pistol in. You can get them to where they they just Velcro in, or you can get them that have the um, uh, snap over or both this one actually has both it has the velcro as you can see it's got a velcro strip right there that goes over but it also has the pop open and, and you can get I don't know how that's going to benefit you much to me the, the velcro thing is going to be much faster but uh, I, I maybe some there'd be a use for that in something that you, you were doing some other way, I don't know, but but to me, I like the Velcro because it just comes right out. But the pistol comes in easily in and out, and the, it, the the whole rig is very very lightweight. The the belt itself probably don't weigh a pound, uh, and it comes on the other side with two spare magazine pouches. Now the magazines on this pistol are 15 round, and uh, so, so they're a little shorter than the pockets, as you can see. But what you can do with these, you can take some, uh, some paper towel uh, and fold it up several times and push it to the bottom of each one of the pouches, and that will keep the mag up here so it only goes in so far, so it don't go in too deep, because if you take that out and push it in there, the magazine will go all the way below the front lip of the pouch. They made them that way so that they'll fit you know, any length of magazine. But after you get get it and see how far your mag needs to go down in there, just pack the bottom of it with some paper towel, and it'll work out great for you. They have a loop on both sides, that Velcro, uh, and it has a stretchy part of the loop so that it'll flex with your body when, when you're moving, and uh, you don't have to worry about it pulling down on you real hard. Now, some folks can't get used to this sitting on their shoulder. 
you know, it's not, uh, that, that, that is a big issue, especially people like, now I have fused discs in my back on the, the lower, in my neck area, upper part of my back, and, and if I wear mine for a long period of time, uh, it, it, it will get a little bit annoying. It doesn't bother me a whole lot. Uh, I have seen people just add a little cushion right there in the middle, but I don't reach, it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm someone that has a lot of bad back problems. I think the more important thing is uh, uh, try to use a lighter frame pistol, a polymer frame pistol. Uh, I wouldn't recommend carrying an old style 1911 with all metal and everything uh, in it because it is going to be a pretty a lot more weight to put on there. Um, and, and pay attention to how tight you've got the Velcro loops that goes around your belt, how you've got them pulled down. Uh, you want tension on them, but you don't want them pulled down crazy tight. And, and and once you get used to it, and you just kind of force yourself to wear it for a little while, it, it's it's real comfortable, you know. And if you get these, have got the big wide wings, as you can see right there, that that kind of spread the weight on both shoulder blades, uh, and it'll help you a whole lot with how that weight gets distributed. But if it does become an issue to where it bothers you a lot. You can take a small piece of foam and maybe sew it to this area right here uh, or, or some way that you can attach it with a piece of Velcro or something to where it just gives you that added little bit of cushion right there. I wouldn't put a whole lot because then if you throw a, a coat on this or a shirt over it, then it's going to add that much pressure pushing down on it because it's, you're going to have a big thick area. But if you have something thin on there, then it won't be a problem. Uh, you can also be modular about what you want to add to these because they do have... Uh, uh, a couple of long straps that come down on, across your body here under your arm you could always add a vertical carry knife um, to, to one of these straps uh, if you want to use the holster if you want to take the holster off uh, separately you can just pop these uh, snaps off one on each side and take them off uh, you know and then say if you had a rig to where you carried um, some of the nine millimeter uh, pistol carbines that that have snaps where they just hang and they don't move, then you could leave them hanging there under your coat, and, and nobody would know it was there, and, and they just snap right on to to the rig itself. Uh, they're 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 pretty nice to have. They're very user friendly, and, and like I say, it's just that a lot of people don't use them now because they kind of faded away from from being used. Uh, you know, because they were popular with a lot of the police shows and stuff uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, and now hardly anyone uses them. But now in the wintertime, in, in the cooler months, when I'm going to be wearing a, 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 a button-up shirt over my undershirt, uh, a lot of times I'll just leave it unbuttoned, and I'll have it under there. I'll have this on, or if I've got a light jacket on, I'll have this on. And, and it just, it, it's a little bit easier for me, it's a little bit easier to, to carry it as a concealed carry that I can get to quickly than it is if I've got one that's uh, on, on my kidneys or in the small of my back because um, it, it's uh, uh, an easier move for me to jerk my coat open and reach in than it is to try to pull shirts up and coats up and everything if it's cold outside and you've got all that stuff on. But anyway, guys, I hope this little short video was informative and helpful, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hey, y'all, if you don't mind, click subscribe, and if you like the video, and click the like button, and we appreciate every one of y'all, and hope to see you in the next video. It's the Fat Man. I'm gone.